All right, folks, at Periscope, this is Yusuf Chowdhury, Digital Marketing Coach in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's, this is a live event. We have awesome business owners here coming to learn about Periscope. So uh, basically, there won't be any engagement because I'm going to have a you know, live event. So I'm going to flip the screen so you all can watch the presentation. And if you have any question, leave the comment on uh, Periscope. And later on, when the event is done, I will follow up with you through the tour, okay? All right, so if you all need a copy of this presentation, all you have to do uh, go to this website. It's called, uh, let's see, go to meetup. I'm going to write it, write it down meetup.com forward slash SA, which is a short for San Antonio, SA online marketing. Okay? So meetup.com forward slash SA online marketing. So once you uh, join, I mean, you can log in with your Facebook or you can create a new account. Let me show you how to get a copy. I'm just going to go ahead and log in with my Facebook. So for early on meetup, we just be on our meetup. Yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, basically it's, uh, it's if, you, if you're part of my meetup, then yes, you can just go to log in. If you're not part of the meetup, make sure you join the meetup. And once you do that, make sure you click on this option right here where it says more. Okay? Then files. And once you go to file, right here. So you can get a, keep a copy for yourself. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's put a start. I'm sorry, go ahead. Anybody put some up there? Yeah, yeah, but you have to just join the meetup, yes. Once you join the meetup, you can you can, post anything. You, can uh, you can find all our classes. The meetup is organized by my company. So we do, uh, besides getting sponsorship through the SVDC, we have a lot of other classes through the San Antonio La Marquina Group. So if you're you interested, like for instance, tomorrow, we have a class on LinkedIn 101, step by step. That is going to be at Geekdom downtown. If you know what is Geekdom at, that is the address, 131 Soledad Street, from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. If you have a LinkedIn account that you want to optimize it, come to this class, make sure you bring your laptop fully charged and ready, okay? That is tomorrow. Then Saturday, I'm doing a seminar from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 p.m. on how to use Google AdWord. So if you want to, what? Google AdWord, you know, online advertising. So that's gonna be a six hour seminar. So if you're interested, you're more than welcome to attend. Okay, you guys need a Wi-Fi for here? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it should be like, uh, what's the Wi-Fi? It should be, a Rowdy guest should be the Wi-Fi. Yeah, but once you join the San Antonio Marketing Group, you will find all our presentation. Okay. I thought the uh, LinkedIn was full already. This no. The other LinkedIn. Oh, this is different. This is this is this is my style of teaching. I'm totally different. So there's another LinkedIn session happens here at SBDC. I think during the day, right? Like around noon. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's I think run by Christine. But this is a different class run by by myself. So it's gonna be completely hands on. So if you're interested, come tomorrow. Look at the address at Geekdom, and just. We're gonna do hands-on, like show you how to tweak it, how to fix it, share some strategies. And if you want to learn Google AdWord, how to get targeted traffic to your website, then that's another one, okay? All right, but if you wanna get the copy of the presentation, make sure once you join, go to more files, and there you go, the copy is right there. So you can keep it for yourself, okay? This is today's presentation, all right? Okay, all right, let's start. So here we go, my name is Yusuf Chowdhury. I'm a digital marketing coach and consultant. I have my own digital marketing firm where we build websites, uh, web development, do coaching and training, do online marketing and whatnot. That's about it, okay? And if you want to connect with me personally, that's my cell phone number. I usually don't give this number away, all right? But I've got trust you folks, so make sure you call me like within 24 hours. And if you want to connect with me in any of the social media channels, I'm available in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Periscope and plus other 300 channels, okay? Just look up my name. Now, before I start, I just wanna know a few things from you guys and ladies. I wanna know what what makes you come here today, like what do you wanna take? Because I wanna make sure that your time is very valuable. So what what, what was the reason that you came here today? I know first was something new, but what do you wanna take? Is it for your business? Is it for your hobby? Is it for your website? It's something that I wanna do for my business and also I can teach my clients. You want to teach your client and also to help you with the business, right? Yes. Education also to teach classes in Spanish. Education, oh, awesome, and to teach classes in Spanish. Beautiful. How about you, man? I want a conceptual understanding of the 
capabilities. Yeah. Awesome. I just understand it. Perfect. You just want to understand how this new platform works. How about you, ma'am? What's um, I, I'm a realtor and I also have a um, nonprofit organization that's global and so I'd like to be able to connect with people in the quickest, fastest, easiest way and Periscope looks like it might be the thing and that's what I'm here for today. Thanks. It's not just my, it is because I have a friend of mine, Sonia from Chicago, who's also a realtor. Mm -hmm. She Periscope almost every day. Mm -hmm. uh, she brings inspectors in the house and show people how to do inspection. She talks about different you know, properties and she's doing very well. That's it. Business, you just want to use it for for, for business, right? I want to be able to do classes on the website and also connect to buy a smartphone. So. Right, yeah, because of this one, I've, need, I've seen some, um, uh, what's her name? Lean Girl something. She does this awesome uh, uh, veggie organic show in Paris called in real time. Yeah. And people start watching and engaging and writing down their recipes. It's pretty cool. Business? Awesome. So, all of you are here for business. So, so let's do this. First of all, I want to thank the SBDC for allowing us businesses to come and learn. Thank you to them. And WP Engine for sponsoring our meetup. If you want to take a snapshot and share it on social media, you are not going to do that. Okay? So, thanks to them for helping us. Look at you. Already. <coughs> and the first, uh, it's a Twitter handle. If you use Twitter, that's the UTS SBD Twitter handle, and the second one is for WP Engine, the third is mine, and the today's hashtag is Periscope. So if you want to tweet while we're giving this class, or if you want to Facebook, if you want to Instagram it, use that hashtag and share. Feel free to do that. I'm not going to mind if you look at your phone because that's what's happening these days. Okay? Nobody's going to look at the screen anymore. Everyone just on the phone doing some stuff. So if you learn something new and you want to share it, tag our name, use the hashtag because people that are looking for Periscope topic, they will also learn from you. Okay? All right. And because WP Engine is our sponsor, if you know anyone that knows how to develop a website on WordPress platform or a WordPress developer, please share that link. WPEngine.com forward slash careers. They're actually from Austin. They have a new office downtown at Geekdom. So if you know anybody that wants to join them or to work for them, share that link for them. Okay? All right. Now, so what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about you know what is Periscope, and why I think and I believe that the live streaming is the next big thing. And I'll tell you why, there's so many reasons. We're gonna talk about how to optimize your Periscope profile. We'll talk about how to understand some of the functionalities and some of the tools and strategies. The last one, I actually removed it because those components take us forever. I'm gonna probably share some of them I want to do some hands-on work, okay? Now, so this is what I like about the statement, exploring the world through someone else's eyes. So the, the two founders, when they, when they built this app, their objective was, uh, you know how throughout the world there's so many activism happening, there's so many strikes happening and, 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 and whatnot. So their objective was if somebody can just live stream the event in real time. That was their objective, okay? So later on, uh, a lot of travelers start to use it to share where they're traveling so you can feel like as if you are with them there. Does that make sense? Then uh, I believe Twitter, Twitter bought them, believe it or not, uh, for $100 million. When I knew that they were bought for $100 million, I'm like, hmm, how would a company be bought for $100 million? That means there's something big that's about to happen. Okay? So in March, uh, when this actually app became public in uh, uh, iPhone, then I think in May, they released uh, one for the Android. So if I define this uh, application, I would say, Periscope is a social media, it's a social media mobile app. It's a live streaming social media mobile app. And the whole purpose of it is for people to share live streaming events or live streaming whatever they act. I've seen uh, this awesome young lady, her name is Tiger from New York. Oh, she just goes to like the Times Square, different museums, and she talks about different awesome places. And people like just enjoying it. What is this place? What is that place? So this is really awesome because you're trying to experience even though, because there's a difference between a picture and a moving actual real time, real life uh, video. Uh, it's really kind of, it's kind of sad and funny that few, I think last week or a few weeks ago, there was this girl who was periscoping, drunk, and driving. Oh dear. And the cop saw it. <laughs> I was like watching the, the, the real proof. Of course she got caught, but... Um, he has evidence. Now. Yeah, that was bigger. like... <laughs> yeah, so you go bigger. But I think Periscope became pretty popular. Now, the cool thing about this app is that, believe it or not, within four months, within four months, 
they were able to generate or have more than 15 million users. 15 million. It took Facebook two years to get 10 million. But it took Periscope four months to get almost 15 million. Rama now means more. And only 1% or less than 1% broadcast. That means everyone else just watches. Everyone else just wants to watch. And there are very few that broadcast, which means what? Which means you are lucky. You as a business, if you tap into this, before it becomes huge, this way you already created your followers, your influence and whatnot. Does that make sense? And I know there's so many social media platforms out there, <laughs> right? So, but for this one, my advice is, if you're doing good on your online presence, if you're doing good with your website, if you're doing good with the Facebook and Twitter, and if you want to try something new, then go and give, go and give it a shot, okay? But if you're struggling with other social channels, then my advice is, then what about this now? Go ahead and fix whatever you, issues you're having with your business, focus on that, make sure you know you generate income before you jump into this one, because I don't want you to end up getting overwhelmed and not producing anything. Does that make sense? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so that is the definition. Any, any question, do you all understand <clears throat> what it means? All good? Very simple, right? And I want all of you, because today I'm gonna hopefully finish it within half an hour, and we're gonna do hands-on. We're gonna have you download the app and do live stream, so you can feel it, okay? So you can see how it works. So you can see the trolls and the bad people that comes in and say nasty stuff. <laughs> so you can block them. You have a lot of crazy stuff. But sadly, a lot of women, when they go live, they get a lot of look of trolls, these people that come and say stupid things. So we'll tell you how to how you can avoid that. Okay? Alright. Now, can somebody tell me? There's one thing that's missing. What is this? What is these two logos? There's look, the last one is gone, but it is supposed to be you stream. Uh, what is the first one? Of course that's live stream. <laughs> right? Does anybody know what is live stream? Does did anybody see it before? The moment. At the moment. Live streaming video. Live streaming, they've been there for years. Their service is to live stream events. Yeah. So live streaming is not new. That's what I'm trying to say. And what about that signal? What is this? Yeah, Google Hangout. Hangout. You're right. That's Google Hangout. There's another one called Ustream, who used to be free like YouTube, but now you have to pay for it. So the concept of live streaming is not new. So what happened? What happened when Periscope and Mercad and all these live streaming Google app came? What happened? Why it became so buzz when these live streaming actually existed so many years ago? The reason with interface, well, it became more easy to use, more personal. The mobile stuff. The mobile too, because with Hangout, you have to go to the Hangout, yeah. set up the Hangout, send the link, <laughs> you know, somebody has to have a Gmail account, right? It's too many step, right? But with this app, you just click on the app, put the title and go live. That's it. Very simple and very easy. Okay? So so what so the reason I'm telling you guys and ladies why I think this is going to be the next big thing. Well, since I mentioned to you that Twitter purchased uh Periscope for hundred million dollars, right? When that happened, guess what? Facebook have their own live streaming app. It's called Mention. But Facebook only released it to celebrities. And any business page, you know how sometimes you will see some business pages has like a blue check mark? That means they are verified or they are considered like, like, like a well known, you know, like a speaker and whatnot. Only they got the access. Okay? I think Facebook did not do a good job <laughs> on that one. They should have like all the 1.6 billion users. But anyway, so if, if Facebook does it, again, what does that tell you? Why would Facebook do that? Right? Try to steal the people. Then you have Meerkat. Meerkat is another company actually it was before Periscope. We I, I heard about Meerkat through Gary Vaynerchuk in South by South, uh, Southwest, right? Meerkat. Then guess what? When this thing happened, YouTube. And by the way, YouTube have their own live streaming two years ago, just like live streaming, just like Google Hangout. But guess what? Now they have a feature. If you have a YouTube app on your phone, you can do the same thing like Periscope. So they enhance their live streaming, so you can do a live streaming event and it goes straight to your YouTube channel directly. So if somebody goes to your YouTube channel, they can see a live event from your phone. So even YouTube, who's owned by Google, they also did that. So why would they do that? Do you see money. what's happening? Mm -hmm. Got the money, the money or this is the new big thing. Mm -hmm. This is what's happening.
happening now? This is the shift, the change, right? Now check this out. So far, I found these. There's blab. The blab is like hangout, but you can have four people in one screen. And, and, and the quality is much better. The video quality is much better. I can engage easily. People can join me. People, I can record the whole session. I can tweet the whole session. It's called blab right there. Right? Then, mention which is Facebook. Fire Talk. Another live streaming social media app. Wave, another live streaming social media app. Mercat, My Eyes, Hangwood, String Wire, Nomadcast, now, uh, You Now. The same way when MySpace came out, so many social media channels coming out, right? Guess what? Just give it another one to a year, we're gonna have probably 100 social media live streaming apps. Everyone's coming up with their own style. Again, what does that mean? That the live streaming is the next big thing. Does that make sense? Why? Because I'm gonna also explain to you why, but, but I just wanna explain to you that if, if, if companies and startups or big companies are moving toward that direction, that means the audience already exists. And that audience is going to grow. And if those audience are going to grow, you need to be within that audience. Does that make sense? Because right now I recommend, some, some people ask me, so you say, what should I do? Should I be in all of them? Well, if you want to be in all of them just to have an account, maybe do that for now. But there's no way for you to have all of them on. And even though I've seen somebody, they have the Blab on, the Mercat on, <laughs> the Periscope on. That is not practical. How can you respond to each phone? The reason I recommend Periscope, because Periscope, Periscope has the highest users. They got like almost 15 million users. None of these have that many. They probably have millions or 100,000. No, they're all free. They're all free. It's a social channel. None of them are paid. 15 million in four months. Yes, in Periscope, 15 million in four months. But these are all free apps. You didn't pay for it. consolidation of these over the next year. I'm sorry? There is going to be consolidation. It's possible, but if you look at social media in general, I mean, do you know how many social media channels out there? Yeah. More than 550. And they're all similar. Have anybody heard of Mr. Wing? <laughs> right? Anybody heard of, uh, you know, Stumble Upon? Yes. They're like 550, and they're growing. They're not going, they're growing. So what I'm saying in the, in the, in the live streaming business, or in the live streaming niche, you're going to see pretty soon many. Because each one, they're going to have their own, they're going to have their own features or their own community. I thought they were gonna collaborate, but no, they're doing their own thing. Because you know, a few days ago, I, I saw another one today called, uh, I don't know, Swever Cast or something like that, but that was something a little bit nasty. Okay, so so the thing is, I'm, I mean, I think from my understanding, from my experience, we're gonna see a lot of these so-called live streaming apps. Everyone's gonna do their own feature. Like for instance, Mercat, Mercat has a better quality of video than Periscope. I have to say that. But he doesn't have the amount of... Not, yeah, not enough followers, yeah. But it has a good quality video. And the, the, the new feature that Mercat has, for instance, you can connect your GoPro camera to Mercat app. Okay. Yeah. Presco doesn't have that. So you see, everyone has to come with a different feature, right? And Mercat has a new feature where I can, instead of putting the text response, I can actually give you a video response while you're broadcasting live. So everyone can see it. So everyone's going to come with their own style, but each one of them have their own audience. I just want to, the reason I share this with you folks, because I want you to understand that this is a big thing. So you need to be part of the game before when this becomes like, you know how when Facebook became popular, all the businesses are struggling right now because they don't know how to use it, <laughs> right? Head of the curve. Head of, that, that's what I'm saying, yes. So there you go. And these are some of the link. If you want to check later on, <clears throat> you can check, just kind of check and look at them. You don't have to uh, use all of them because we are talking about parents, right? So these are some of the links. And like I said, more is gonna come out. This is my prediction, <laughs> okay? Which could be wrong, 100%. All right, now, why do I love Periscope versus the typical social media channel? If you look at Facebook, if I post something on Facebook, yes, people can like it, they can share it, they can comment, but the difference is, the engagement is not as powerful as on this one. Because in Periscope, specifically in Periscope, when I'm speaking live, people go in to ask me questions in real time. Does that make sense? Yes. And a lot of them. You don't see them in Facebook like, no. bunch of comments like going like crazy. But if you, if you add the comments, I can find like hundreds of comments in every Periscope. You don't see that in Twitter, you don't see that in Facebook. Does that make sense? And the, the other thing is, 
because you are live, you're, you, you're broadcasting live, you're not supposed to have a script. You're not supposed to be like all editing. It's just raw and real and happening at the moment. Do you see what I'm saying? And, and that, what does that happen? When you do that, it creates what? Trust. It creates, ah, uh, yes, it creates a trust and it creates authenticity. So when somebody sees you over the phone, that, that relationship becomes much stronger. You know how sometimes we meet somebody on Facebook or Twitter on LinkedIn, when we see them in real life, we're like, oh, it feels good, right? When we see them in real life, but now I can already see them. Like the, the people that I follow, like I, I read the blog, I read the books, I admire them, right? Now I can actually comment to them and respond to me as if they're sitting next to me right now. It's awesome, it's, it, the feeling is different. So that's why I love it. The engagement is so high, there's no need for perfection. In fact, anybody know Hulu, Hulu Plus? I'm gonna show you a video right now because they screwed it over. Because they did the Periscope for the first time, everything was scripted and it was crap. It was very bad. I'm gonna show you how they did it wrong. Periscope is supposed to be natural, just live, okay? Uh, best in sharing features. So when somebody right now watches my Periscope, uh, they, they tap hard because that means they like it. They tap so many hard colors. It's not that crazy, like, it's like that. And they can share it in Twitter. And they can share it in Facebook. And if you ask them, and if you ask them, yeah, they already like. Yeah, what's going yeah on? giving hearts. Okay, She's so giving hearts. Yeah. So because they're liking and they're giving yeah. hearts, and I can share it into it. If you ask them, they'll share it. And they can also invite their followers. And here's a cool thing: if you have 500 followers in Periscope, and, and let's say you watch the show, like my show, and you click invite, guess what? Every single of your followers will get notification. You don't get that in Facebook. You don't get that in Twitter. Because in Facebook, if you have a thousand followers right, in a business page, only one person will see it because the news feed. Right. Here, every single is going to see your notification, unless if they turn it off. That's it. But they will see the notification. Isn't that amazing? Right? And it's so easy to use, and viewers willing to assist. What I mean by that, if I told the audience right now, please share this, go share it. Invite the followers and invite the followers. If I mention a website, guess what? They will. Write it for me because I cannot type. I'm, 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 when, I do, when you do a live streaming, you can't do anything. You can just talk, right? So if I tell them, hey, can you put this website? They'll put it for you. And not just that, when I, when I talk about tips, like tip number one, people actually write the tip for me. So this is amazing. So, and not just that, you can engage with other commentators. So what happens when you engage with them, what does, what does that do? It creates a conversation relationship. And if you help me by answering some of my questions, you get followers. They'll follow you back. Yes. Are these followers separate Periscope followers or are they your Twitter followers? Excellent question. Both. If they don't have Twitter, they only have Periscope, then they're just on Periscope. If they logged in with Twitter, then they're same. They're Periscope and Twitter followers. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because when you download the, Twitter, uh, the Periscope app, my high recommendation is you need to have a Twitter account for many reasons and you log in with your Twitter. Okay? Because when you go live, it broadcasts your Twitter account automatically. And people that are searching in Twitter for your topic, they can find your Periscope and follow you back and watch the show. Does that make sense? That's what I recommend. But that's why I love Periscope. It's really up in these. I mean, I mean, I've been doing it for how many days? 130 days. That's almost like four months. And I have like 1,900 followers, wow. organic. And I've been doing it like Monday to Friday, every night I scope. Or if you have any event like this, I make sure that people see it. Very organic. I got a couple of leads and clients too, without me even trying hard. All right. Any questions so far? Why do I love Periscope? Yes. So you can have these um, open broadcast to anybody who wants to check in with it, or you can have it only for your followers. Correct? You can have only followers, but I'm not going to select that because I'm going to show you that I'm going to go more forward. When you broadcast, anybody can see it who has a Periscope account. Does that make sense? And those who don't have a Periscope account, they saw your information on Twitter. They can click on the link and they can see it uh, on their desktop, the live streaming. Or they can see it over the phone, from the phone, they can join too. But every Twitter followers, by default, they should have Periscope because you know it's part of Twitter right now. Does that make sense? You got a question? Okay. Any more question about why I love this Periscope thing? Good? And we're gonna test it when we have you go live, you can see people like they never, never met, but like asking funny questions. <laughs> okay, so we should have to do that. Optimize your Periscope profile. So now what you need to do, once you create the account, my advice is have a, a picture of you 
Don't go to picture of a cat or a camel or a donkey, okay? <laughs> because it's a social media. People need to know who you're talking to. I know there's one guy by the name uh, Aero Maestro. He's the he's like the guy who goes to different conferences for startup uh, businesses. He's very well known in the startup community. But his Periscope has a picture of a cartoon duck. But he has like a, I don't know how many followers. He's different. All he does, he goes to different places throughout the world and talk about different things. For him, it's a different story because his brand is established. His brand is established. He's not a new person. His brand is established, so he uses the duck face. In fact, most of us like were kind of pissed off. Like, man, how do you look like? It was easy for me to find him because I just Googled his name. <laughs> okay? And everyone else was like, who is you see? Because the Periscope, they did a, a Periscope Summit. Uh, was it last month? They did a Periscope Summit. Uh, I think last month, a few months ago, where all these Periscopers came to New York to hang out and talk about the live streaming, you know, uh, and sharing a lot of conferences and whatnot, okay? So first thing is, make sure they have a good profile picture because they want to, you know, talk to you. Your name, what happens sometimes, maybe some of you have a business name, like a crazy ninja, right? Or maybe some of you have a name that is hard to spell. So if you have a different brand name, when you create your profile, put your name right there because people need to know who they're talking to. You see what I'm saying? Because some, some people say something like, I don't know, uh, flying saucer. My, my Periscope handle is flying saucer. So how can you talk to him? Hey, uh, how are you flying saucer? That doesn't, doesn't, doesn't look normal. In the profile, say your name. If your username is weird. My username is my personal name. Okay? My username is the personal name. You can see I have this many hearts. That means people liking it. <laughs> Almost half a million. Okay? And... Uh, and what you need to do also, what I mean by emojis, you know how sometimes you have those like, uh, like images, like a cartoon image and whatnot? Okay, don't put too many of them. I've seen some profiles that they put like fires and hearts and candies. Don't put too many because you look like in a kindergarten and at the same time, you don't want to be emoji holes. Okay? So don't use too much. You can use like maybe two uh, signs of like a check mark, but don't do too much, okay? Mention your website. Now the website is clickable. So if somebody look at your profile in Periscope, they can click on the link and it will go to your website. That's how you get traffic back to your website. And of course, you also should have some sort of lead capture so you can capture the name and email address, okay? And that's how you optimize. You all right, learning this? Enticing description is very important. Who are you? What do you do and what do you scope about? Keep it very basic and simple. I'm a, a financial advisor. I, I, I help small businesses make more money. And I scope about financial tips. Oh, that's interesting. Don't just say I'm a crazy ninja that flies in the mountain and hit you know, birds with three stones in my... Some people are so creative, but I'm like, who cares? Give me a good reason, why should I follow you? Does that make sense? You see, if you look at my profile, digital marketing coach, okay, that's me. I scope about what? All the marketing tips, strategies, and resources. Very simple. So the, somebody who's interested to learn about all the marketing, they're going to follow me. And there's the website, and this, this is a hashtag. It's called uh, Tag Tribe. It's a community. I'm going to talk about it later or before the end of the session. It's a, it's, a, it's a Periscope support community group that I'm part of. So what happens when somebody sees that, that's also part of the community, they can join my Periscope and support me. That's what it's for. Okay? I use that because I'm part of the community. If you're part of any community, use one hashtag. Don't use too many hashtags because hashtag on the profile doesn't help. And plus, you don't want to be a hash hole, okay? <laughs> so, too many hashtags, like, what the heck? You don't do that. Uh, that's why I say it's optional. So right here, following, that means I'm following 1,400 Periscopers. And followers, that means 1,900 Periscopers following that. That's what it means, okay? And the design looks a little bit different on Android. I'm sorry, I don't use Android, but uh, apologies for that. I can give you a link on how to check out Android. <laughs> <coughs> Any question about this? How to optimize all your profile? Very, very important, okay? Okay, so block means these are the people, the trolls, the, the people that talk stupid things and tell the thing, you can block them. So that means they cannot show up in your scope anymore. So I have like almost 200 people that are blocked, okay? And broadcast, these are my how many live broadcasting I did. So far, I did 139, okay? So that's what it means, your broadcast. When you go to the settings, you have three options. User, follow you. That means if you turn it on, every time somebody follow you, you get a notification. Ding, ding, ding. That's what it's for. Uh, preferred language, of course, I put English. And autosave. What happens is, when you do a live broadcast, 
through Periscope, it stays there for 24 hours. After that, it deletes from the backend. So what happens if you want to save a copy, <clears throat> you can select auto save broadcast, it will save it on your mobile device. So you can upload it to your YouTube or your Facebook. For 24 hours only? No, no, on Periscope it stays for 24 hours. Okay. It deletes by itself, and I'll show it is gone after 24 hours. But if you want to save it, if you want to save it, you, you select auto save. It, it stays on your phone. It stays on your phone forever. You understand what I'm saying? Save if you select it. auto save then on you your device, to YouTube or then manually you have to upload it to YouTube or to Facebook. What about touch? We'll talk about that. Okay. Calm down. Okay. We'll talk about that. Okay, yes, same thing. Okay. And the iPad as well. Because by default, within 24 hours, it's gone. Okay, but if you want to save it physically on your mobile device, you can select auto save. Does that make sense? Because if you go to Periscope, it just says, okay, 24 is gone, nobody can click on anything, it's gone from the server. But if you go to your uh, picture file icon or video file on your phone, it's there on your phone. Just make sure you move it away from your phone to your desktop or laptop because you don't want your phone to be used up with a bunch of files, right? Okay, so that's what it is for. Now, when you click share right here, share Periscope, that means you are going, you know how when you sign up with Facebook, you share the Facebook with your friends and family? Hey, look, I have a Facebook account. This is what is it for. So if you want to share your Periscope with your friends and family, you can email them, hey, check out my Periscope account. You can send them a text message or Facebook. That's what it is for. Uh, health Center, this is a QA. and a If there's any question, you can check the Health Center about you know how to use Periscope and whatnot. It's all right here. Send feedback. Let's say your username is different than Twitter and you want to change the username, you know, the handle at your username, you can send them a request. Can I change my username and give them a good reason and they can only do it once. All right? Legal, when you click on legal, it talks about terms of service, privacy policy, and attribution, so you can read all those if you want. Logout means you're logging out of the, the first cup, okay? Any questions? I mean, if you download your app on the phone right now, you can see all this right now. Yes? Question is, um, I, I have a handle at Twitter, mm -hmm. which is Texas Realty for you, but I'm just about to take my broker's exam first quarter next year, this uh, year. Uh. And so um, I wanted everything to be similar, so I'm branding properly. Uh -huh. So what you just shared with us about changing your handle one time, was that at Periscope? Yeah. You can change it one time. Okay? Yeah, one, one time, yeah. But what happens is, to be consistent, if that's your Twitter handle, then keep the same on Periscope. Because if you log in with Twitter, that's going to be your Periscope handle, the same one that is in Twitter. So keep it consistent. Consistent, yeah. Change. You don't want to confuse your customer. Yeah, just okay. keep it consistent. But in the biography, in your bio, put your name. Because tax and realty, that's not your name, that's just your right. brand, right? right? So if somebody click on your profile, it says your name, then that's how they can address your name. Okay? That's my only request. Otherwise, I have some. Yesterday, somebody came to my Periscope and his handle was F Periscope. I couldn't mention that. <laughs> okay, it's so, like, hey, thank you for joining. Oh, okay, F Periscope. All right, I couldn't do anything with that, right? right. Any question? There's no way to do this on a computer. It's a mobile, yes. It's not a, it's not a PC based, it's not a web. The only thing with the web, if you go to uh, periscope.tv forward slash your username, people just can watch it. They cannot engage, they cannot comment, they can just watch it on the stuff. But it's a mobile app. Do you have demographics of who is using this yet? No, yep, it's a brand new. Okay. It's still on beta. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like what March, so give, give it a time. It's give it a time. We don't know how much, but we have. We know that well, Periscope said that they have 15 million. And they also mentioned that the, the amount of uh, information that people are consuming it is equivalent to 40 years of knowledge. The amount of information that people consume is, is, is equivalent to 40 years of information. Okay? Any questions? Are we good? Yeah. All right. So when you click on the bottom right here, you see, this is where you click the edit right here. And this is where when you hit this, this camera, this is when, you, when you go live streaming, and when you click on Earth right there, it shows you the map and who is live right now. That's how you find out people, like in different countries, what they're doing. I have this lady from France, amazing lady. She, she showed the, the Notre Dame Cathedral, right? Mm -hmm. She just went inside, and was beautiful, it's like, and the, before the sun rises in the morning, she's like showing the sun in the morning, I'm like, wow, and we're like, like a, wow, all of us like at home, like, 
<laughs> so you're like, wow, like one lady, what's her name? Uh, uh, Yan, and she's in LA. And I don't know if she's in San Diego and in Southern California, but the sun was, you know, it was sunset time, right? It was so beautiful. Just, she just put the camera like this, at the phone, I'm sorry. And all of us like, wow, beautiful, wow, beautiful. We've been all mesmerized. And I'm sitting in my office, okay? <laughs> So the map shows you, which means, when you live broadcast from your home, please turn off the location. <laughs> turn it off. Because the location is very precise. I have a friend, his name is uh, uh, Ray Garcia. If you follow him in Periscope, uh, uh, Ray G Creative. That's his handle. Ray G Creative. Every Monday, he does a safety Periscope. He goes live, he shows you how he look at other teenagers' Periscope. And he asks him a question, hey, your location, are you, are, you, are you living by this address? Some learns it and turn it off, some don't care. Some say, oh, I have a gun, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so I want to be a gangster, right? So if you, my advice, if you scope from home, just turn it off. Some people don't leave it, uh, don't turn it off because if you have it on, that means you get more exposure and more people are gonna follow you. So when I scope from here, I leave it on from my office, I leave it on but from home, I turn it off, okay? But you can see in the back, you can see different countries, how many scopes, and click on them, or you can also click on the list right here, the list, and it will show you <clears throat> their name, who they are, where they at, how many, they are live, live means they are live, and how many people are watching right now, and the title of the scope, right? Live streaming users, locations, number of viewers, and the title of the scope. So when it comes to your business, your title has to be very interesting for somebody to kind of click and watch it, okay? And again, don't put too many emojis in the title, it's very hard to read. We're not a kindergarten, okay? Any questions so far? Are we good? <clears throat> so when you click this thing right, I'm sorry, when you click this thing right here, this is what you're going to see on the iPhone, and right there you're going to tap the title, right? The title. Use one hashtag. I use my, uh, I use my branded hashtag. So what I do, I use like hashtag Usify the Scope. Why? So I can use different tools to follow all the conversation about my broadcast in the social media. Like when somebody retweet my broadcast, I can see who did it, so I can thank them. Does that make sense? So if you have a business, like, it, like you can say, hashtag realty scope, whatever, right? So use one hashtag, don't use more than three, because that becomes retarded, okay? Uh, so that <laughs> your location, again, turn it off when you do it from home. Yeah, I mean, that's what Okay, but if you're doing from different places, a conference, and you wanna show, you know, then that's fine. So where do you turn it off? Uh, you see that? That's right now it's on. So when you click here, yeah, then it turns off. Or or you go back to the settings on your mobile device, yeah. click the Periscope app, and from there you can also turn it off. Now somebody might ask why Periscope is doing this. Well, guess what? It's not just Periscope. Every mobile app that you download has GPS capability. Yes. Why they do that? For business purposes. They want to know where you at so the business can give you those products. It's for business, right? So most of the app that you download, believe it or not, has a location feature on, like for instance, Instagram. Some people probably travel different country and they don't know the location is on, and somebody probably is following you. Hey. Next time they're gonna go to your house and take your stuff. I don't wanna be too far on it, but you never know. Okay, and this one right here, the Twitter handle is supposed to be wide, that means on. So what it means, when I broadcast, automatically it tweets. Like, you know, you of broadcasting live, hashtag Periscope and the title. Okay, so make sure this is on. Now, do not click on this thing. This thing frustrates me because somebody goes live and they select limited comment, that means only the followers can comment. The problem with that, if I'm looking at your live streaming and I cannot comment because I'm not your follower, what's the point of being here? So I leave right away, so don't turn that on, leave it open. Yeah, so if, even if you get trolls, let the trolls come in, you can just block them. When you block them, guess what? All the people that came to watch the show, they're gonna block them too. It's very funny, it's very awesome. It's the cool thing about it. If I click block, everyone else block them too. And the next one, the log? <clears throat> the log that means private. If you're gonna do a private scope. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a, a customer who followed in Periscope Client. and you wanna show him a property. Right. You do private and add him in the private and only you and him or her will see the property. I can oh, preview for clients yes. who are out of state or out yes. of country. Yes, there you go. Military. How many can you do on the private? I don't know, I don't know, 25 or 20, I have to double check. Up to 25 or 20. I have to double check. Okay. But okay. Is super of course, in fact, there's my friend Ray Garcia uh, created another platform. It's called the Teleport.me. Teleport, not teleport. Teleport.me. This is where you can go 
and people are going to pay you for live streaming. So let's say I want to see the Times Square. Can I pay you $40 for 10 minutes? You pay them and they just, they do that. <laughs> he just started this business, so check it out. It's called Telefor.me, okay? He did this because some people are going to pay you, all right? Okay, somebody wants to see San Antonio. I yeah, they're going to pay you. Yeah, just go for 30 minutes. I'm going to charge $30 for 30 minutes, show them around, and get paid. So, so you did they that own for like it? someone's graduation, and you just do it privately to grandma and grandpa? And you can do that too, but they have to be in Fresco. Yeah. So for, for your friend who has Telefor. Like for, for video. Yeah. So for Telefor, um, who owns that creative? You own it. You own it. The way he gets paid is percentage. But everything is your you want to add it to some other thing that you're doing. It, to, yeah, to the thing is, he, he's been working on it for two years. He just started a few months ago, so you got like probably 100 followers. It is still on a beta, but do check it out. I mean, really, and he does. Uh, if, if I share with you his account, you can see some of the scope that he did about how to use it. Okay, I think it's an awesome idea. Okay, so before you move away from that, block, yes. So when I tested this out, I didn't want to do an open broadcast, so uh -huh. I selected some people. I have two people on here. Good. But it doesn't tell me. I don't. I, I don't know the user interface. Did you can it private? Yeah, there you go. You just selected them, right? There you go. There you go. Uh, and invite. Uh, and click on the bottom. Uh, just uh, uh, both and invite them. Yeah. All right. So and again, don't use private scoping if you're not going to do private, and don't select limited because you want to engage with your new audience. Okay. Then hit the broadcast. Okay. All right. Any more questions? We good? I, I'm telling you, if you guys go live and test it right now, that's how you're going to learn. Okay? Because this information is probably going to be, be gone in a few minutes. Don't be waiting. Just my water? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So this is when I click in this area. When you click on this uh, three, I'm sorry, this area here, this will bring me to the news feed. So all my Twitter followers, I can see their uh, Periscope, whether they're active or not. And Periscope, sometimes they pick, uh, according to them, they pick whoever's popular, they're gonna put them right there on the top. Okay, this guy's a journalist, he's awesome. He's been going around showing real, in real time, because you know the, the situation with the Syrian refugees? He's been showing the real thing happen right on the spot. None so of the media can cover that. This is like by location. <laughs> yes, this is awesome, because forget this ridiculous, stupid mainstream media. He, he's right there. And like a raw, true story, like you can just uh, you can feel this is organic. There's no editing. Okay, so you can see the featured scope, press scope from your followers right here, and you can also add when you click the search button right there with the see that when you click there, you can type the name anybody you know and see if they show up, and that's how you follow them. Okay. And you search by key term, like can I search for Siri? You can, but uh, let's see what comes up. Because the search feature is not that that accurate. Like for instance, if I type SEO, I get tons of followers, some companies, some followers, but you can do that. Mostly yeah. it's done by, by username. When I hit the, the search thing, it says search people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if you go to open up your business, you can type, let's type real estate, see what happens. Because remember, the information is in the profile. Yeah, that's what shows up. See? You can type any term, but ideally because it's a because because it's a social channel for who? For people to people, right? It's not about a place. But when you have in your biography, in your bio, I'm sorry, when you have something like a real estate, you mentioned I'm a real estate agent, type real estate agent, then it's gonna show up based on what you have in your biography in your bio. Does that make sense? But the search feature is not that strong. You, you see what I'm saying? Again, yeah. they're still on beta, they're still testing it, they're still fixing and tweaking it. Okay? Any more questions? We good? We good? Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear something. I can read your mind. <laughs> the last icon in the middle is the TV. The TV, yeah. This is the one that you can see all your followers scoping. This one here, you can see anybody. When you click the world, you can see anyone, whether you're your friend or not. When you click the TV, these are your followers. Your first couple followers. See how many of them are live. That's what is it for. Save live streaming video. So I talked about when you go to the settings, you select auto save, right? So that's one option. You select auto save and it saves on your mobile device. The other option is, <coughs> and there you go, this is the option. When you go to the setting right here, it says auto save broadcast, okay? The other option is you can use a cloud based web services. So, for instance, if you use a Dropbox, iCloud, a Google Drive, so you can actually transfer those video files 
from your mobile device to the cloud. That's option number two. Spontaneously? No, you have to do it manually. Just okay. manually. Number three is my favorite. There's also called catch.me. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Cache.me, it will save your Periscope beyond 24 hours. You have to log in with a Twitter account or just like Periscope. And I'm going to show you in the setting, every time you go live, automatically it saves it and catch me. And it's amazing. I'm going to show you how to use that tool. Because it will also tweet. When your broadcast is finished, guess what? It will tweet the replay. And it will also tweet it to my Facebook. The hearts are going red right now. Yeah, because I love it. Okay? So, that's my favorite one. And the cool thing about Catch Me, I can embed my Periscope in my website with the comments of other people. I can also delete the comments, right? And the cool thing about Catch Me, people that watch my Periscope, if I want to go and talk to them, I can click on their username and it will take me to, take me to the tour account so I can tell them, thank you for coming up tonight. And that creates what? Engagement. Next time they're going to remember you because you spend time thanking them. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, the last one, third party tool, like, you know, external hard drive. You can basically move everything to an external hard drive like your laptop or desktop. Or we can transfer it to a Wi-Fi storage device. Anybody use a Wi-Fi storage device? Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Wi-Fi Yeah. Yeah. You don't guys don't know this? What are you guys been doing? Okay, that's <laughs> good. So like check it. Google Drive? No, no, device like a like a hard drive. Oh. Wi-Fi. Wow. There's no flash wire connected to your phone. It's just a Wi-Fi. Flash drive. Wi-Fi. How do you, how do you connect the flash to your phone? You can. A hotspot? No. This is Catch Me. Okay. Okay, so you have to log in with your Twitter or make a, another account. That's how it looks. This is one of the device. It's a Wi-Fi. I can connect through Bluetooth to this storage device. So every time I scope, it will automatically push my video to this storage device. Oh, we like that the best. This has been on for like a year, guys. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many of them. There are so many sizes. And this thing costs like 30 bucks. How, how many? I don't know how many gigs. I forgot. Gig, giga, two, three. No, more than, more than, no, more than a couple of gigs. Not just, not just one gig. But here's the link right here. It's from Amazon. That's my affiliate link. So if you want to buy it, <coughs> go to bit.ly for the slash you supplied Wi Fi. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> you supplied Wi Fi. And you can get a copy. So, again, these are, I use Cash Me. I don't care about the physical right now. I'm just giving you options. Whichever you want to go with. Cash Me is my favorite because I can embed it. People can share it. People can go and look at the scope anytime. And in fact, they can forward and rewind. They can you move forward it. and they can go backward when they see the when you they see the Huh? You can edit. You can edit the text only, not the video. Like the title of the text. Okay? What else do I need? <laughs> Cheering this. Do I need anything else? Not really, because I know some people say, uh, some people say buy a microphone, a, a wireless microphone. You don't have to. I mean, if you want to have a good quality, if you have a, a, a Mac headset and plug it to your phone, then your sound will be much better. If you want to make it professional. Some people want to do interview. So you can get a, a headset with a splitter, one for yourself, one for the interviewer, so the sound can be clear. Does that make sense? I have this thing right here to hold my inner phone. I, can, I also have lenses. If I want to have a white screen, I can put a lens to make it white screen. You can do all the stuff you want to, but you don't have to. If you just have an awesome title and be consistent, that should be enough. But if you want to be a little bit fancy, then talk to me about it, okay? So this is a Wi-Fi service. It's called your Karma. What happens sometimes, imagine if you're different places and the Wi-Fi doesn't work, or your provider sucks, like mine is friend and they suck, sorry is friend, <laughs> okay? So I can use this, turn it on, and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. And the cool thing with the Karma, if, if, you, if, if eight, eight, eight of you, if all of you share it, up to eight people, I get 100 megabyte of bandwidth for free. So every time somebody share, I get 100 megabyte bandwidth for free, so that way I don't even have to pay for it. It's called sharing Wi-Fi. So the more you share with everybody else, the more bandwidth you get. That's what's called a karma. You give back, you get more, okay? And the website is yourkarma.com. Uh, of course, storage. I'm sorry, not storage, charger, because when you are live on Periscope, it sucks up a lot of energy. You, you will see that the phone is like almost dying. So if you are in a conference event, make sure you buy a charger so you can plug it to your device. Does that make sense? And that's my affiliate link through Amazon. 
bitly.com forward slash use of my charger.